Well, two weeks in a week, and I'm joined by uh, Max Crespo. Max, we'll talk a little bit, I think, generally about the last few weeks in terms of what, what it's been like for the players and you know and so on. But you know, firstly, two wins in a week must be very pleased. Yeah, two wins, two clean sheets. Um, it's quite satisfying coming away from home to a place like this, and they're in quite good form, and they've been keeping clean sheets themselves. So. Well, it was an ugly game. It was a yeah. very ugly game. Um, I thought they were very good that like, first half. We were pretty poor. Um, but I think those ugly games we haven't won this season, and it's you know in a funny way, it was very satisfying to win in that fashion. Um, I thought we defended our box really well, um, and you know we created three good chances, and you know took two of them. So yeah, very satisfying to come here and get a clean sheet and win. So, just thinking on top of my head now, the last four games we've had three clean sheets. Actually, should probably have been Kings then. And then a very close game with Grimsby. So, you know, it must be very pleasing to see the defensive discipline, really. Yeah, and I think it comes from obviously I was a switch of formation. I think everyone's played 4 3 3 or 4 2 3 1, however you want to look at it, when they're growing up. Um, so everyone knows their job, and, you know, sometimes kind of counterintuitive think playing a five at the back you've got more defenders on you've got more chance of a, a clean sheet but it's it's actually gone the other way and fair play to Ian and um, you know the coach staff are sorting that and yeah we've had to pick two centre halves from what have we got three four five good ones so it must have been tough for Ian but yeah I think that's you know that's everyone knows their job and we know what we're doing um, defensively um, and you know yeah I'm, I'm pleased for Rossi and the goalkeepers who have played in those games to get those clean sheets. And you were just saying that personally you, you haven't been well for the last week, so you've missed no. training and you're, you're carrying some. Yeah, like, no. So you performed well today? Oh, yeah, I was all right. Yeah, <laughs> no, I mean, I didn't touch the ball much. It was like in the air a lot of the time, not my sort of game. The pitch was very bobbly, so um, it's just the job then for me, you know, more of a technical player, just to work hard and try and win second balls, which we didn't win any first half, but, you know, we were on top of it. I thought Sol was magnificent in that midfield. and. Uh, Second half, we really took it. I think we, you know, they didn't hurt our goal, and maybe into the 94th minute when they hit the crossbar, and um, we had to defend a few set pieces and things like that. But yeah, just personally, just the energy wasn't there first half. I've had tonsillitis since last. I've had tonsillitis in the last 14 days. So last weekend um, was tough. Obviously, played 90 minutes and played really well. I thought, and then this week just just wasn't there. You know, the energy because obviously I'm quite known for doing that, but. Yeah, um, can't be too harsh on myself, and like we said, we, we've won, and um, yeah, I'm pleased with that. And just give us a bit of an insight into, you know, football's about ups and downs, and you go through spells where you think nothing can go wrong, <laughs> and you go through spells when you think nothing's ever going to go right again, and we're never going to win a football game. What's it like within a team when you're going through those that, that sort of the difficult spells? It's tough, but I think it just comes back to like working hard as you can, day in, day out, and you kind of create that luck you've needed um, that maybe we've lacked but um, it, yeah I mean it's hard work and things like that but you've just got to keep the faith and um, like I said a change of formation it looks like it has helped but it's tough but whenever I have those tough times personally if I'm not playing well you've got to put the extra hours in whatever, whatever it is shooting fitness in the gym whatever it is and that kind of relaxes my mind knowing I've prepared well for the following week and I've given myself the best chance of playing well and I think we're doing that we're working hard at training um, working light you know on Fridays and things like that give us most energy on a Saturday but yeah no it, it's been it's been tough um, I think this is the first time when I've been a proper player um, since I was 18 when the manager's been sacked and you know I've had a lot of self-reflection okay I've you know had a good season personally but you're always looking at things that you might have done differently and should I have you know chatted to this player should I've dug him out a bit more or should we have back you know things like that so Definitely been a time for self-reflection, and I'm just help. I'm, you know, I'm pleased that you know we, we've looks like we've turned the corner, you know, defensively, and also you know we're scoring goals at the other end. And it's not, whether you're a manager or players, it's narrow margins, isn't it? Often it's it's not. You can't just press a button and make it work. That's what I mean. It's, it, we're just saying like maybe we forgot how to get over the line, and you know when Ian's first game against Grimsby, you just think, oh, here we go again. Like we, it's, it's winning games becomes a habit, and maybe we're just forgot how to do it you know been not been ruthless enough not been demanding enough from each other and the matches and and you know the Kings in like you said we've created enough chances to win two games there okay that happens on a poor pitch and then um, I thought we were you know we were good good uh, good value for a win last Saturday first half again we created four or five chances didn't take them and then you're thinking oh god here we go again but 
Um, and, and you know, if we drew nil-nil that game, I think the fans would have been, you know, not uneasy because they understand it's a new regime and things like that. But they would have been a little bit, you know, fed up. But you know, <laughs> a great finish from Nicky, and all of a sudden we've, we've turned the page, we've turned the corner, and again come here today and you know got three points. And it's tough for players. It's also tough for fans. And obviously, you know, I think last week was just relief. It was like at Lathwaite Community Stadium, it was just like a flood of relief. Today was a bit more. Probably a bit of fun, do you know what I mean? Was that, I, I, was, I wanted to say this as well, that was the loudest I've heard that away crowd for a long, long time. A long, long time. And, you know, we were stretching off the game and just uh, obviously singing songs and that was fantastic. And when that second goal went in, I mean, I could hear them banging up, up the top of the stand up there and, it was, you know, that was, that was a good feeling. And, you know, we've missed that. You know, we had loads of games with COVID, no fans, gotten back, played well. <coughs> and then had a difficult season this season. Great start, difficult, uh, difficult middle. That was proper today, that was back to you know the working fans I know and you know the working players I know digging out a good result, you know. And that was after probably a slightly scrappy win on a bobbly pitch and they were brilliant. They oh were look, brilliant. We'll, we'll play better than that towards the end of the season <laughs> and um, but we've played a lot better than that and lost this season, I'm yeah, telling you. Yeah, a lot of true. games I can rattle off three or four missing chances and pff, yeah, it was grim today. <laughs> ball was in a lot, I mean they had four centre arse playing across the back four and it was just whack, whack, whack. Um, so not much football played but they don't care. So you, you we won the battle. Nil. I know going forward they want to see a philosophy, they want to see this but uh, that's like a new school thing. You, you want to win football matches at the end yeah. of the day and yeah. you've got to be flexible in winning, you know, getting on the floor and playing like we did the first half last week and then grinding out on a tricky surface and tricky conditions today so yeah. very satisfying both the wins in different ways. Well, it's good to see you happier, it's good to see the players happier and the manager happier, it's good to see the fans happier as well, and uh, we'll see you Tuesday. Cheers, Ian. Come on.